Okay, so where we left off is that we are able to sign in. And then we get the appropriate links here at the top. Um, however, uh, we're still able to access routes that we shouldn't be able to access. For example, the register route. Oops. Okay, and then if I log out, um, I can still go to the profile page. Now, so we don't want that. Um, so we want to restrict routes. And Angular 2 actually has an easy way to do this. Uh, so if you just search Angular 2 router and click this first one, um, what we're going to use is something called can activate off guard. Uh, so you just want to search off guard. And this is their example on how to implement this. And so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to run a check to see um, if the user is logged in or not. And then we can specify on the route um, that the condition must be either true or false. And that's why they have the return true here, right? Um, so as I implement this, um, it'll make a little bit more sense than I'm um, explaining it. But so I'm actually going to navigate down to the second version, v2, um, and use this as an example. So going back to the folder, I'm going to go into the client folder, source, app. And then inside of apps, I'm going to create a new folder called guards. And then in there, I'm going to create two files, one called auth.guard.ts. And then another one called uh, not auth.guard.ts. Okay, so essentially one file is going to be um, to make sure users are logged in and the other one to make sure users are not logged in. So I'm going to copy um, this entire um, this entire example. And um, I'm just going to change a few things and actually go back up to the top and let's see here. Um, and this is actually closer to what I'm going to need. Okay, and so since we exported this, uh, we need to open up the um, routing file and import that here so that we can implement it into our routes. Okay, and this is essentially um, a service, so you have to go into the app module and also add it here as well. And then go down to the bottom into providers and just add it here as well. Okay, then I'm going to go back to this file. And so what I'm going to use is one of the services, uh, the auth service. Um, so if you remember, um, we created this function called logged in, which lets us know, um, you know, if the user's logged in or not. So I'm going to import that into the guard. Um, actually, I made an error here. Should be services and then auth service. And just like in all of our uh, other files, we need to create a constructor. I'll just copy this one and then I'll just paste it here at the top. Instead of this, I will use auth service. So now we can go ahead and access that function. Whoops, actually I made another error up here. Should be dot dot. Okay, and so let me just erase this here. And what I'll say is if this auth service dot logged in So if the user is logged in, then return true, they have access to this specific route. Um, otherwise, we'll return false. Okay. So now back in the routes, we can implement this. Um, so I'll do it for the dashboard. Okay, and all you need to do is type in can activate. And so in other words, what this is saying is if the user is logged in, then this route can be activated. Okay. So I'm going to copy that and I'm also going to add it to the profile 
because of course the user should be logged in in order to access the profile. So if you hit save on that and you try to go to um, first make sure you're logged out, I'll say dashboard. Um, it doesn't let me go to that view now. Um, however, it's just displaying a, a blank page. So what we can do is going back to the guard. So then right above here, um, what we can do is uh, first I'll need to go ahead and uh, activate the router here. So just call that there. We already have it imported um, from before. Um, so then I'll say this.router.navigate and then navigate to the login page. All right, so I'm going to go ahead now and go to the home and then try to access dashboard again. So now we get redirected to the login page. Uh, same thing if we go to say profile, we get redirected. Now if you log in, Um, you'll notice you can still access, like, say, the register page. Um, so that's what I created the not auth guard for. Um, so we can do the opposite of this. So I'm just going to copy this and uh, do the same thing. Um, we're not going to need these two here. Uh, so we'll just use those two. Okay, and then instead of uh, auth guard, I'll just name this not auth guard, and we'll basically do the opposite. We'll say um, if um, the user's logged in, then we'll return false instead, and then we will navigate to the home page, and then we'll return true else. Right, so we're basically just flipped everything around. Um, and did the opposite. So now going back to the routes file, I'm going to import that. Actually, I'll just use the same one. Then change this. Don't forget to go back into this file, the app module file, and then do the same thing. So then if we go back to the routes, we can essentially do the same thing, uh, but obviously it's going to say not off guard. So this is going to affect our register route. Um, we'll just change this to not off guard. And then same thing with login. You don't want the user to be logged in uh, when they access the login route. Okay, then I'm just going to test this. I'm going to log in. And then I will see if I can access the register page. You'll see it redirects as well as the login page. Whoops. Okay, and there you go. Now we have restricted routes. So one other thing that I want to show you, um, let's say I click on a link that takes me to the profile page. It's going to take me to the login, right? Now watch what happens when I log in. When I log in, it takes me to the dashboard, not the profile page that I linked on. Um, so that can be a little bit irritating. And so what I like to do is if the user tries to access a route and are redirected to the login, then what I like to do is take them to the page that they were initially trying to go to um, before they logged in. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Um, so this will be done in the... Um, the auth guard file here and that's what these um, activated route snapshot and router state snapshot will be for and actually let me fix this um, i don't like this to be spread out in uh, more than one line it's just messy so instead of adding these to the constructor like we normally would what we do is just uh, place them directly in this uh, function here uh, so it's going to look like this. It's pretty much going to look similar to how you would do it in the constructor. So for router, I'll pass in activated route snapshot. And then for state, I'll pass in router state snapshot. So then up here above the constructor, I'm going to create a redirect URL. Uh, so this is going to be the URL that user is going to be redirected to afterwards. 
So then here I will set that um, to state URL. All right, and so we're basically getting that snapshot of the URL before the user, uh, when the user initially comes to the route and we're saving it here. So now we need to uh, activate this inside the login. Um, so I'm gonna go into my components, into my login component, and then the uh, TypeScript file. And then I'm gonna import the auth guard so that I can use it here. And so what I'll do is when the login components initialize, I'm gonna to check to see um, if the redirect URL, um, if it exists. Okay, so if it does exist, we know the user was redirected from somewhere else, and then we can send them back. So you can just say if this .authguard redirect URL is true, then I'm gonna set the message class to an error to let the user know um, that they were redirected. I'll just say, you must be logged in to view that page. Okay, then I'm also gonna add another one up here, uh, and it's gonna be um, previous URL. And so down here, what I'll do is set that previous URL to um, the authguard redirect URL. Afterwards, I will take that Authguard redirect URL and set it to undefined, all right, so that we um, clear, kind of clear the state of this um, so we don't continuously redirect um, users when they log in. So now um, here is the login function. And so what I'll do is in this timeout, um, I'm not going to always redirect to dashboard. Um, I'm going to change this up a bit. And so what I'll say is if this previous URL exists, um, then we know the user was redirected. And so what we'll do is we'll, we'll um, navigate them or redirect them somewhere else, and which is we're basically going to redirect them uh, back to where they were before, which is previous URL. Else we can go ahead and then redirect them to where we were going to uh, originally. So after you hit save on that, uh, Go ahead and manually type in a uh, profile or dashboard um, and you should get redirected and you'll get that error here that says you must be logged in to view that page. And then once you log in, make sure that it redirects you back to the profile page, um, which is what you were trying to access before. Okay. Um, so that about does it for this. Um, uh, the last thing that I want to do is I want to open up, um, let me close all this out open up the um, index file and I'm actually going to replace this uh, bootstrap here now there's something uh, called uh, boots watch and basically what it is is they've taken the CSS of bootstrapped and just changed the look and there's different there's a bunch of different layouts that you can choose from uh, the one that I'm going to choose from is uh, flatly so if you just hit preview and then hit, um, you can either right click and hit view page source or control U. And then I'm gonna click on the CSS file they have here and I'm just gonna copy uh, the URL for it. So I'm gonna delete this bootstrap one and then just link a new one. And then I will paste that URL in here. And then once you hit save on that, uh, if you go back to your Angular 2 app, you'll see that things uh, look a little bit better. Um, it's still bootstrap, um, but it just looks a little bit more um, pristine.